table? What? Okay, y'all, we don't have any chairs. No chairs, but I have one bench. So I'll be using that until I get my chairs. <laughs> Let me explain a little bit of my anxiety moving in and sort of the cycle that I've been trying to break. So because I had a lot of time between signing my lease and it actually starting, I felt compelled to order bigger furniture in advance because I was worried that I would feel bad about not having a sofa for two months after moving in. It would remind me of other times. I moved out and just never got around to furnishing anything or getting it to a place where it felt like home. Well, arriving and finally unpacking this sofa with my sister on FaceTime felt surreal and kind of definitely confusing. proved <laughs> to my anxious self that, you know what, everything is going right, everything is okay and helped me calm down. It also felt sort of like Christmas because I've had this furniture in its original packaging in my basement for weeks and I just didn't unpack it yet because I wanted to wait. <laughs> so here we are, move in day one and it feels like Christmas. This video is sponsored by me. I created a Patreon, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while now to create this space where people who are interested in more content from me can find that on there. This exclusive and ad-free content includes extended versions of my videos, for example, my vlogs, extra videos, as well as just more personal notes and life updates that I will be sharing on there to cultivate a more intimate community with those who are interested. For this vlog, actually, there is a full extended version that is 18 minutes long on my Patreon right now. So if anyone is interested in more use of content as well as supporting me, this is a great way to do it. My Patreon is linked in the description box. Picking back up on how I feel about this transition and this move, I one thing that I have been trying to refocus is that you know, it's super exciting to have this project, to have all of this decorating to do, um, that I'm able to go secondhand shopping and furniture shopping for my own space. Like that's super exciting, but I try not to have those checkpoints that I'm chasing after for my place to finally feel like home or for me to arrive. I'd rather shift that focus towards inner checkpoints of feeling cozy and at home and stable in my space. Pressuring myself and stressing myself out about having things to be a certain way at a certain point in my life is a big notion that I'm just trying to let go in general. Um, to be honest, I do feel like I did a lot today, meaning I'm really tired, but I also know that I unpacked a lot of stuff, especially kitchen stuff. Even though it isn't organized yet, I just wanted to get it away <laughs> so that I could cook and that my kitchen is functional. I'm not sure if I'm going to be building my bed. At least I have my mattress. I mean, I literally slept on my mattress without a bed frame for since I got it, so it's not really a big deal. Uh, but I'm excited to have a bed frame, uh, but we'll talk about that when we get there. But I am excited to have these uh, soap dispensers because they just make everything look leveled up <laughs> and are also super practical. So I'm gonna do dishes. Also, my first time using one of these. 
so interesting. Um, I feel like you can use this for a lot of different things. So, yay, dish top. I can't believe that I actually unpacked my furniture, y'all. What? Like, I have a sofa. And I put this little panda here. Oh, this panda actually has a name. It's called Wowie. Uh, I feel like I need to slow down a little. Even today, which is the first day of my period, which I can definitely always feel and I really try to take note of it usually <laughs> and kind of reserve the day to just rest. But today I went grocery shopping uh, and we almost finished the bed, building the bed. My dad helped me out with a lot of little tasks that I had to do and help me build things so that was amazing and now i'm about to finish building up the bed so that i can maybe take a nap that would be awesome uh, we just came back from a long walk in the neighborhood just like exploring areas looking for the little nooks of nature this is the current status of the bed frame it's actually pretty simple, but I'm happy I didn't have to do... I'm happy I had help. So now I'm just gonna install this, which is the middle bar. And then you can see back there, I don't know what they're called, but then those. <laughs> You know, I have this strong intuition that this right now is just a phase in my life that is here for my healing and I really want to dedicate my focus to that. So in connection to arriving in a new apartment, I am trying to create a home that feels good to me prioritizing my health mentally and physically and most importantly cultivating peace in my space and enjoying the journey so as i said with that goes a lot of grace a lot of patience and a lot of reflection so i hope you are here to join me on this journey
Thank you so much for watching this video y'all. As I mentioned earlier, there is a full version of this video on my Patreon. You'll get more peeks into the first couple of days of me moving in and also exploring the city. So I'll see you over there. Bisous!